Hello all, welcome to another lecture on lab 11 which is on optimization. This is a way more easier than you have seen on the previous lectures but this is kind of an interpretation of what you have learned so far. Okay, so here you would be learning quite a few things which is practically applicable and you have seen this in your daily life so that is what we will be doing today. Okay, so directly getting over to the topic. So the example that we have to solve on the class activity is this. There is a cylindrical can which is made to hold 1 liter of oil. Find the dimensions that would minimize the amount of material that is used to manufacture a can. So there is a can which is manufactured to hold 1 liter of oil. So we must find the appropriate and suitable dimensions such that the material used is reduced. So basically we are trying to reduce the surface area of of any kind of material, of any kind of shape, or in this case, it is cylinder. So try to read all of these. I will not be doing any of, I will not be explaining these two points. But yeah, let's let's briefly look at what we have. So we have a cylinder like that. Imagine this is a coke can or something because that's a kind of cylinder, isn't it? So you you must know that there is a radius. So the upper part and the lower part of a can is circle right and that is h which is height of a can so what you must know is three things one is that the top a top part of the cylinder is a circle and the bottom part is again a circle and that was height with some height okay yeah so we have two variables one is r and the other one is h okay so before we start with you must know what is the area of a circle because we have two circles one on the top and one on the bottom. Now if you cut open this cylinder in that area and if you split it you can see a rectangle isn't it just try to cut cut here right there a cylinder and if you split it up if you just open it up you see a rectangle <clears throat> and the height of the rectangle is simply the height right there simply the height of that but the breadth that you see in this direction in this direction the breadth you see is the circumference of a circle so try to understand this if you cut open this part you see height is simply height of this of the same thing now the width is the circumference of a circle <coughs> okay <coughs> so our, our idea is to reduce the surface area of the of the material of the can such that if you reduce the surface area the material what we that is actually needed to manufacture a can is reduced so let's go back go to our MATLAB code so that is what I have now define two variables that is R and H which is radius and height now the base area and the the base area is pi r square which is circle and the area of side is 2 pi r h. <coughs> now what is the area of a side? That is the cylinder of a, the, the side area of a cylinder which is circumference of a circle. This is circumference of a circle. Now the total area which is actually the surface area is 2 times the area of base. Why is it 2 times? Because circle is at the top and at the bottom. That is why I am multiplying twice of the area of a circle plus area of side. So that is my surface area. Now I know that the volume of the can which is made to hold is 1 liter. 1 liter is 100 centimeter cube. That is volume. Now I know the surface area and I also know that the formula of volume of a cylinder is pi r square. Pi r square h. Okay. Now what I am going to do is I am going to plug my 1000 centimeter cube to my volume so I have 1000 is equal to pi h r square okay now I'm going to get an equation for h in terms of r so that I'm going to call it as my h is equal to volume is equal to is equal to 1000 which we already know and I want an equation for h only so just plug 1000 there and just rearrange this equation in such a way that you have h here and pi and r square comes to the denominator 
basically I'm just dividing pi r, pi r square on both the sides so h is equal to 1000 times divided by r square times pi so that is my h now I need to find r now I already have an equation for h 1000 by r square times pi by this guy but if I find r I have my h so how do you find r now before we actually find r just plot a graph of area so just you have h right there now plug this back to your surface area equation now if you plug h with 1000 by r square times pi you have this entire equation in terms of r only see that area is equal to i'm going to substitute to my surface area equation that is area of two variables for h with my h my 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 h is 1000 by r square times pi so if i plug this to this equation i have that guy see that so everything is in terms of r now now if i plot that i see there's a obviously r cannot be negative right radius cannot be negative can you imagine a, a can with negative radius no you cannot so r cannot be negative so we have to only look at this area so I'm going to assume my R somewhere close to 4 and 6. Why? Because that is the least radius that we can see. So if you have least radius, I mean the material usage is also reduced. So 4 and 6, that is what I've given it there. Read all of them. <coughs> now, there are two things I need to assume. One, that my R is real. Obviously, R cannot be imaginary. Then R should be greater than 0. Now, I'm going to differentiate area with respect to R. I'm going to take a derivative of this with respect to R. I'm going to equate that to 0 and find the value of R. Remember that we have done in, in our previous class, we found absolute extremum that, uh, how did we find absolute extremum? We took a derivative, we equated that to 0, and then we plugged that point to f of x which is critical point so we found critical point by equating a derivative function to zero then we plug that to the main function to find the maximum and minimum point that is what we are trying to do here we know what the area so area is in terms of r i took a derivative of that area and equated that to zero and i found the value of r which is r critical so use this code to find the critical point of r so that is my r r is 5.4192 now i know what my r is now if i go back and plug to this equation i have my height so that's what we will be doing here so i'm assuming again r to be greater than r critical and my a prime should be greater than zero obviously it is true so we are just trying to check the statement again we have done this in our last class so now next is our next step is to find our ra uh, height so height radius is r critical i mean i used vpa just to make con i had this in terms of fractions before so that i i have used vpa now to find height i am going to plug substitute to my my h equation with r by for with our r radius so I'm going to plug r in my my h equation with radius that I found. That is what it is. So I'm going to plug, I will, I'm going to repeat that again. I will plug my r in my e h equation, my h equation with r, with the r that I got right here. Okay, that is what I'm doing here. So I'm trying to find VBA right there just to make sure that everything is in decimals so later i found that to be 10.8385 all right this is okay now just to check whether if i have if i use this r and if i use that h will i will my can hold one liter of oil that is the question so what i do is i know what my pi is i know my h I know my R now if I plug back to this equation 
I should see volume is equal to 1000 because that was my main goal of the problem. So if I plug to my volume equation with R as radius and H with height that I found H and R radius, radius and height that I found with R as radius and H as height I get a thousand. So that is the dimension that I am looking for. So if I use that dimension I can hold one liter of oil in a cylindrical can and I, thereby reducing the material that is required I mean the suitable material amount of material that is needed okay so <clears throat> that is the explanation that you actually need so far now if you look at your assignment question there is slight thing that you need to change very very small thing that you need to change so read the question I'm going to give you a small hint and you must make sure that you read at least thrice or four times so that you can understand it better now look at this point that that is the hint you are looking for the base and top should have area is equal to area of the square to include for the waste now what was the area of the base and the top it was pi r square which is actually circle now the question is you must have area is equal to area of the square to include for the waste okay that is all the hint I can give you so try to think about it okay I mean it's just hundred it's just a huge hint so try to think about it and you would be very good to go you just have to change one thing only this part okay I cannot tell you more than this okay so that's all for today see you in our next class